Members of the Plymouth Pilgrim community we remember at Thanksgiving eventually made their way to Connecticut, founding Windsor as the first town in the state in 1633. They established a trading post beside the Farmington River on land that is now part of the Loomis Chaffee School, an exclusive private high school. Christine Ermentz, executive director of the Windsor Historical Society, said the settlers liked what they found here. Well, here we are close to the juncture of two rivers, what's now called the Farmington River and the Connecticut River. And what you're seeing in front of you are a broad swath of meadowlands and not actually all communities had meadows and meadows were very attractive because the English were going to bring their livestock and so having meadows having river access um, and the meadows actually were uh, uh, these are all floodplain lands so that's one reason they haven't been developed they're underwater every spring so they're enormously fertile they're great grazing land um, one interesting thing about the settlements all up and down the Connecticut Valley is a lot of them have names that refer to the meadows. You have um, Springfield, you have Enfield, you have Long Meadow, you have Bloomfield, and this all refers to the importance of meadowlands um, in these early, early um, settlements. So this is, um, these are the great meadows of Windsor here. And of course, you know, with floodplain and fertility, there was abundant wildlife here, there were fish, it was a great place to settle once the settlement got going. For the Republican American, I'm Mike Patrick.